Hi, I'm Marcus, and today we're here with Rob Martin with MOGA, and they're showing off the next generation of uh, Android controllers. There are two models. Rob, will you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure. Um, so this is, as you said, Marcus, the second generation here. Um, the first generation had a travel size like this, and it had, which was called the, the MOGA Pocket, and it had the uh, more console style or console sized mm -hmm. uh, controller, which was called the MOGA Pro. This is Pro Power, and this is Hero Power, um, and these will be coming out this fall, uh, ready for holiday. The, um, the biggest innovation, uh, maybe there's a couple to, to show off here. If you look at the original pocket, you can see a limited control set here, slider uh, analog sticks, uh, action buttons on the top, and then two triggers on the, on the shoulder. Um, and that with, one was the very same. It, it, it had the same flip out where it could. Yeah, that's right. So right. with the MOGA arm, you were able to Bluetooth connect your, your device, whether it was a smartphone or you could close it down and connect to a tablet via okay. Bluetooth as well. And this one's got a new shape with... So we learned a little bit about ergonomics um, and what was uh, one of the great things about offering a controller for mobile game, it, uh, it ended up extending the, the game sessions. So much like you have on a console, we were seeing hours and hours of gameplay as opposed to the five minute stents that you know, mobile is typically known for, um, which um, made ergonomics even more important. We felt like we had a, a very comfortable controller with this, but you can see the flare and the in the, in the uh, shoulders here in the, um, in the handles there where these came down more square. This puts your wrists in more of a comfortable long game session uh, sort of uh, position which allows for that fatigue not to happen. Right. Um, we also uh, took in, um, while this was great, um, we wanted to provide a full feature set of controls. So this has all of the standard controls that you would see on a console controller. Um, including R1 through 3 and L1 through 3, so those, those uh, sticks are clickable and you have uh, R and L1 and 2 on shoulders and bumpers. Um, it also incorporated the uh, D-pad and we improved the action buttons up on the face there. The other ones uh, were really shallow and they were small the, and they were really uh, uh, placed closer together so when you you had to kind of look down in order to, to see that, whereas these uh, have been spaced appropriately and stood up off the deck as well as made a little larger. The, the thing that I think was uh, the biggest innovation for this, this line uh, that we're most proud of, and again, um, where we took customer feedback and user feedback to develop the first generation improvements from Pocket to to this. The other thing we heard, quite frankly, um, very loud and clear was, love the controllers, but my phone's dying at noon. So what we did to, to solve that problem is um, put internal batteries in both products that are rechargeable, but they're powerful enough to not only charge the device itself or the controller itself, but also the phone. So you will charge the phone while you're playing uh, on the new MOGA Power Series, which um, which is great from a, from a standpoint of uh, ending your game session with equal or greater power on your phone than you began with, but also if you're not playing, you can use these controllers much like you would use a standard power brick today. Now how big are the batteries in each one of these? So this, this uh, Pro version comes with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. This one comes with an 1800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, to give you some context, um, the Mophie cases that you see on the market today, the ones that are combined protective case for your phone but also have that power brick capability or functionality, start at about 1,700 milliamp hours and that runs about $99 for that, that particular uh, case. Um, this one is 18, so it's right there in the range. The Mophie cases run up, I think, to about 3,000 milliamp hours. This one at 22 is right in that, that range as well. Most phones, if, uh, just to give you a, a, some context, um, most uh, Android-based phones uh, batteries run between 1,400 milliamps and um, and about 3,000 with the larger Note right. uh, is is up there. Now, if I had an extended gaming session and this was running low, would I be able to charge uh, the the Moga and the phone at the same time through a daisy chain? That no, that you wouldn't be able to pull power out of the phone to charge the the no, not the controller. Other way. Would you be able to charge the controller? 
Absolutely. At, at so if that went out of the out of the device or out of the controller to the wall, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So you could keep on going. Even you though could keep going. on going. You could do twenty four hour game sessions okay. if you wanted to. <laughs> And that's, that's one of, quite frankly, that's one of the things that, that we've been hearing now as we've gone through playtesting with this is, um, this was great, but at some point my game session had to end. Um, wow, now it's, you know, we're, we're hearing the marathon stories of, of users um, playing through the night now okay. with, with their MOGA. So when, when can we expect to see this? So both of these products will be out this fall. Um, we're looking at sometime in October uh, that has the ability to shift and change as you... Um, as you deal with uh, shipping and receiving and then distribution within your uh, retail channel. Uh, right now, Generation 1 product, MOGA product, are in about 10,000 retail locations, brick and mortar and channel. Channel being um, uh, carrier stores and, and so forth. Um, so we are, uh, we're expecting to see the same kind of distribution for our second generation product. Uh, a couple other things of note, um, you see the cord here. This is a small six inch cord. Both products come with a six inch and a six foot cord. The six foot cord obviously would be used for charging while you're in home or near a power source. Uh, we didn't want to have all that extra cord wrap up uh, to have the consumer have to deal with, so we made and included in the package a six inch cord as well, which makes it quite easy. This cord is long enough to accommodate a, a Note, uh, Note 2 uh, and beyond, so we uh, feel like we have uh, have anticipated the, the growth of, of those phones. Um, one of the other interesting things here is the if you look at the profile, this tooth has widened some. So on some of the phones with some of the big cases like an OtterBox case, in the first generation you would have to remove the OtterBox case in order to accommodate the phone within the arm. No longer is that the case with this wider tooth. Um, we have a Note 1 and a Note 2 with an OtterBox case that fits perfectly and is hold, holds secure without having to take that case off of your phone. Um, you'll also notice uh, both uh, have the ability to toggle between an A mode and a B mode. A mode is um, gives you access to the games that were developed for MOGA, so we call those MOGA enhanced games. Uh, there's about 125 of those games in our active library today. That number changes every day. Um, we think we're going to have somewhere around 150 by the end of next month and then by the end of holiday season somewhere above 200. Um, so we're, um, we're very, very excited about uh, the options that gamers have now. Um, and with a simple HDMI cord, you can now go from a tablet or your phone to a television and get that console quality experience from your living room couch on a big screen TV. Wow.